Hey, what's going on guys? Aram Case here and welcome to another awesome color grading tutorial. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to generate 3D LUT inside DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you're making your own LUT in the DaVinci Resolve, I probably wouldn't rely on the software too much. For example, I've been getting a better result so far in Photoshop and in 3D LUT Creator. But let's say if you have a shoot tomorrow and you want to make something really quick for your reference camera, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to do this. So this shot of the helicopter, and I actually used it a little while back for another color grading tutorial. I downloaded this, uh, this footage from the red.com and if you guys want to play around with the same footage, go ahead. It's free for download. So this is a red camera and we're going to start with a red lock fill. So as you can see, we're pretty much working right now in the neutral log color. And now I'm going to start building my own LUT. So let's take a look. Uh, one thing for you to know that when you're creating your own LUT, uh, such thing as masking is not going to translate to your final LUT. So basically you can do mainly primaries and a little bit of secondaries but I would stick mainly to primaries if you want to get the best possible result so let's start doing this and the first thing I'm gonna do and again this is just for tutorial sake I'm not gonna go too much into the actual process so this one is gonna be let's see contrast okay and the next one, I actually want to have a little bit uh, milky blacks. So what I'm going to do here, just for demonstration purposes, I want, I'm going to do milky blacks. And we kind of start getting a little bit of retro looking footage. So I'm going to call this one milky. And then in another note, for some re reason, computer uh, glitching a little bit. I guess that's what happens when you're working in the beta software but no complaints so let's bring it down a little bit and let's go back and after the contrast I'm just gonna build a little bit of look and let's say I wanna do a little bit retro look and I can really play around with RGB curves and let's say I really like how it looks so let's check it out before and after and let's say for my movie, this is the look that I want to use. So how do we save that? Well, if you're going to right click over here and you're going to click generate 3D LUT cube. Just like this, you pretty much can save actually your LUT in the DaVinci LUT uh, folder or if you want to output on SD card or whatever it may be. So give it a name, click save and you successfully generated LUT. So that's how you do it. It's pretty much simple, very straightforward. And for those of you guys who didn't know that, now you do. So next time you're gonna shoot something and, and sort of wanna click quick reference look for the client monitor or for your own monitor, now you know how to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll be seeing you soon.